I'm gonna give you five great tips that I used on my CV to get me the job at Amazon. I've spent hundreds of hours preparing and researching on how to make the best CV possible, so I'm going to give you it in five easy tips. Tip number one. I think the hardest part of any CV writing is just writing about your own achievements. It's so weird to like brag about yourself, but write it in a way which sells yourself. And so what I've got is a framework known as the Action Impact Framework on how to write your CV. So I'm going to give you this structure so that you can write any of your achievements in an easy way and then you can build on top of it. And I'm going to show you how we can build on top of it now. So as I mentioned, the structure is action, impact. So you've got to talk about what you did and then what you achieved because of what you did. And it's really simple. It really is just like that. Okay, so I'm going to go through my old CVs and then compare them to my new CVs and using this framework of action impact, build upon it to make it even better. So for example, a C-level response in a CV would be, I had to learn Swift and was assigned a task to create a more millennial UI for which some of their customers wanted. So that's kind of good because it tells you what I did and it's, you know, it's sort of saying, oh, I've created a more millennial UI, but we can do so much better than this. Let's try a B-level answer now. So still using the same action impact framework and we're gonna just try add some results which are quantitative. Recruiters mainly care what you actually did and then the result of it and nothing else genuinely. So, a B-level response could be like this. Created a new mobile UI for the sign-up page based on customer feedback, where 70% of customers stated that the sign-up page was too difficult to use. So this level is good because you're, you're saying what you've done and you're saying why you did it. However, you're not saying you haven't stated any impact. There's no quantitative measurement on the result of what you've done. And actually, it's super important to be able to quantify what you've done and show that to the recruiters. So. Let's try and up a better answer here. I A-B tested different sign-up page prototypes due to 70% customer feedback that, current, that the current page is poor. And as a result, I designed a sign-up page with 80% user completion rate, four times more than the current page. So you can see here is we're still using what we said before and, val and validating why we did it, but we're adding that impact, which is I designed a sign-up page with 80% user completion rate, four times more than the current page. So you can clearly see that it's, I've made something which is four times better than what's existed. And then that's really shown the impact and the value that you have. That's my tip number one, action impact framework. And if you don't take anything from this video, just use this and write your CV in action and then impact. Really use as much quantitative or qualitative data that you can back up your impact on because it's so important to show that you can that you are results driven. Tip number two. So when I applied for Amazon, I had three main experiences. I had an internship at an enterprise, a internship at a startup, and a personal project. And in actually what really surprised me was while I was at Amazon during my interviews, I actually only talked about my personal project, which just shows that as long as you can solve a problem and talk about how you solved it using the action impact framework we just talked about, it's enough. You don't need to have experiences beforehand. You're just applying for internships here. You don't need to have other experiences. The whole point of an internship is to give you an experience. But I would say you need to do related projects so that you can put that on your CV to demonstrate your problem solving abilities. A good, great idea is to, go, is to go join a hackathon or join a competition. For example, I know Google Developer Student Club uh, hosts an annual solution challenge where you can build a pro product which solves a problem. It doesn't matter where you solve it, solve it in a competition, if you build your own personal project or a hackathon, you just need to take the initiative and go do it. Just go. Don't let The more projects you do, the more you have to talk about, and the more you can use the Action Impact Framework, the more you're gonna be able to speak to your recruiters. It literally just works like that. That's all you have to do. Tip number three. So, tip number three is just to use a basic Word document. So I'm gonna show you my old CV, and I used to apply for quite a few jobs, and actually I didn't get a lot of those jobs. And that could obviously also be down to the content wasn't very good, and I didn't use the Action Impact Framework. But here is my new CV, uh, which I used to actually apply for Amazon, and tons of other jobs, of which I actually got like a huge success rate with this CV. Um, and I genuinely think it's because of how basic it looks. It really doesn't matter if it looks pretty, because at the end of the day, the recruiter only cares about the actual content. They don't care about how pretty it looks. You're here for a job, uh, for like a software engineering job or a technical job. They wanna know what you actually did. They wanna know what results you delivered. They wanna know what impact you had. They don't care if it, you know, what shade of yellow color you use on your CV or shade of thingy. It doesn't matter. Secondly, a big reason to use this basic Word document instead of this pretty one is because when you hand in your CV to a company, 
they actually use a scanner to scan through your CV and so all the words on it so they'll so they'll have a scanner which tracks all, all the words you use and they're going to use that to match their job page so you've got to make sure you use the right keywords another reason why I prefer this plain CV is because of formatting issues with the pretty CV all your words might get lost in the document or something I don't, I don't know I've had I've had experience before when I've sent over my CV and because it was a pretty one or something uh, the formatting just like mucked up but with a basic CV you know what you're getting and it's a lot easier my other tip with that is send in your CVs as a PDF instead of like a Word document or, or an Adobe Illustrator because you don't know what software, software your recruiter has. You want to make sure you have a universal uh, document such as a PDF so that no matter where they open it, it's going to look the same and you won't lose out on formatting issues. And lastly, the reason why the plain CV is a lot better than the pretty CV. It means you can really focus on sp actually writing good quality content on your CV instead of worrying about how it looks. It's so much more important about what you put into it. Tip number four is going to be a really quick tip. And I, all I do is at the, at the end of each project, I just write a text stack. So I'm going to show you here. So you can just see here, I write the tech stack of what I what technologies I use in that project. I think this is really good because when, as I mentioned before, when you hand in your CV to the tracker, it looks for keywords. So if you have these keywords out there, the scanner is going to be able to quit really easily pick that up. And in addition to that, when a recruiter looks at your CV, the recruiter is going to be really easy to be able to scan through it and see, oh, this candidate has everything I'm looking for. And I can see it at a really quick glance. Tip number five. Before you do post your CV into the job portal, go through the job page where you're looking for the job and just read through it and just try to find out what are the keywords. It might say problem solving, it might say communication, it might say you need to learn Django or Java. And if so, make sure your CV has those keywords in it because the port, the scanner literally will track what keywords you have in your CV and then what they're looking for and match. So make sure you have a lot of the keywords in the job portal. I really hope that helps with your CV writing and if you guys have any more questions about it, let me know. Send me your CVs and I can help you edit them, I can help try, I can help try and make them a bit better uh, using this Action Impact framework. And the most important thing is action and impact. You know, I would spend so I would spend 90% of my time literally just writing out Action Impact on each of my projects. Thank you very much. Bye bye.